Let me tell you something about the voice of God. Now I'm going to shock many of you. Do you realize that God does not speak what you hear that you think is his English? It's not English. The language of God is light. Are you listening to me? Hmm. Strong presence in this place. The language of God is light. I've explained this, but let me show you. I'll prove it to you scientifically. If you want to send a text message from your phone to this person's phone, what happens? You type the message. When you send it, it goes as what? Help me, please. It goes as what? Do you see it? Do you realize that the text you send flows from the realm of the spirit to get to the recipient? We live in the spirit every day and we call it science. The moment is in the spirit, no time and no distance. That's why I can get to London in that instance. Are you following me? You can stay and send, press and send instantly someone at the North Pole will receive an alert. Let me tell you something, follow me. Once it's in the realm of the spirit, time and distance does not exist. But watch this. When it gets to the person's phone, when it gets to the person's phone, listen, the phone has been configured to interpret and convert what that light is saying into a language that you can understand. That's why Russians use handset. Indonesians use handset. Are you following me now? So when, how many of you have received text messages and you just saw jugular, jugular nonsense there? Because your phone cannot interpret. Maybe it's an MMS, but your phone has not been configured to interpret MMS message. And so the, the words in your phone will try to downgrade what that light is trying to say as best as it can. And then you begin to see arrows and star. It's attempting to tell you there is a message. Upgrade your phone and then you will see it. Perception. For many times when he beckons on us and he's speaking, the insufficiency of the word of God frustrates the manifestation of his voice in your spirit man. And then you are not able to understand what he's saying. That's why people receive half revelations part revelations and sometimes God steps in by his mercy to give you pictures and give you words just a phrase of a song or use the face of somebody that can be a symbol of what he's trying to say that your spirit cannot receive a spiritual man able to interact with the realm of the spirit when you understand spiritual perception it will be your key to walking away from danger many people suffer because they are trying to heal the sick the bible says that paul was preaching he didn't just blindly get up and say i have faith i'm a man of god he was waiting for these promptings of the spirit that's why sometimes you see us just worship i say what are these people doing we are waiting there is a language we don't just function foolishly and then suddenly you hear us say cancer cancer why not headache cancer because over time when you stay with the spirit he trains you as you build yourself in the place of prayer this is one of the things that happens your organs of expression there is stamina in your spirit your ability to understand and interpret the language of the spirit and then every time he gives you those promptings again then you know that this is what the spirit is saying how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind i know you've had this song just listen to me how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the wind his power at work in you is changing everything in obedience there are many of us who were told days before the armed robbers came to your house you knew it the holy spirit kept beckoning on you but because we are not able to understand the promptings of the spirit there are many times you sit down in the car to go to go somewhere and the holy spirit begins to communicate to you when you understand this you will reign in this life are you getting blessed tonight you better be interested in what i'm saying so when you pray 
there is a rising your spirit is rising in science when when water gains energy what happens it changes state from ice to liquid to vapor that's what happens to your spirit man when you gain energy there, there comes a change of state and you keep rising to the plain and the mountain of god and when you allow the holy spirit to train you sufficiently you see a list of job offers and instantly you know which one to go to. because every time you lay your hands to pray he begins to lead you friends i hope you know that this is what they do to occultic people the moment you are initiated he's not initiated i'm using him as an example the moment you are initiated what happens they come to you in the night they are attempting to activate your organs of expression in the spirit and they begin to show you things that you have never seen suddenly you see a lizard then you see a picture you think is a dream and it disappears and suddenly you see some people bring you and then for many people they say a a matured man like this <laughs> they say traveling in what granite seed or something now they are frustrating science to make the spirit alive in you that cannot be understood scientifically after a while you conceive it as a reality and you begin to walk in that light the grandmother in your village sits down and just perceives that your brother is going to excel and through that perception they use incantation to confirm it and sits down there with her old stick and shouts and says come back to the village and die and she goes to bed and the senseless carnal minded businessman is meandering the streets of london and for reasons you cannot account for you will take a flight and come back and then you come and die we are not just raising men of understanding but men of power let me tell you some of you will rise tonight with an anger because suddenly you will see that so this has been the promptings of the spirit sometimes when you're sleeping immediately your your peace is taken away and he says get up many of you are waiting for get up g-e-t-i-t -E wait there until your destiny catches fire and you get up and then you pray for five minutes and convince yourself you are done you pray till the promptings change and sometimes it will take days for it to change are you following me now thank you jesus there are times that suddenly for no reason you find the holy spirit calling you and he says three days i want you to pray at least three to four hours three days he's pressing up your spirit for something to come and then when you share it your spirit is alive you who would have fallen on this news you stand and you say no i know god is alive stamina has been built because of the ability to perceive spiritual things hallelujah paul was preaching and while he was preaching his organs of expression in the spirit his sense of perception sight and sound by reason of praying in the spirit have been activated and he kept looking at that man waiting to perceive the moment he perceived it said does it stand up and he arose god's generals it was said that there was one of them who had an angel who would always come and stand and if that angel didn't come he will never do anything he would just be worshiping and the people say this guy don't waste our time he says i cannot do anything according to the training that was given to me it was said to me that when i see this angel it may not be so for you see be careful when you read books because many people take their spiritual experiences and build doctrines out of it you are not permitted to build a doctrine out of your experience you can share it to guide people but the word of god is the most sure word of prophecy so i can share with you how i flow in the spirit i can share with you how i know that this is what god is saying i should do i can show it i can you see that the prophets in the bible operated at different levels and frequencies of perception ezekiel would be caught up in the spirit then he saw the bones and instantly he knew they were very dry
Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the Let it cover all the earth. Hallelujah.